All right, Scorpio, welcome back to Oshun Tarot Garden. You are now chilling with your big Oshun. And today we are doing a non-communication love reading. So this could be somebody who's on your mind or you're on somebody else's mind. However it may be, just take what resonates and leave what doesn't behind, okay? So let's see what these people got going. We're going to come off and see what the energy is between this non-communicative person that you haven't talked to plenty okay so this person feel like they got enough okay like they got enough going on with this plenty i feel like somebody feel like they got enough going on they either feel overwhelmed in life or this person is feeling like they got a lot of options okay <laughs> So that's what I have with this plenty, but you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and see what we got going on for my Scorpios and see what this person has going on that's not communicative and love. I got love all over me. Every touch, every part of me. Oh, baby, I got love all over me. And I won't make it up from completely from the thing you love. However it go, but that's what I'm feeling for y'all, that love all, all over me by Monica. That's what I'm feeling for, for y'all. Okay, let me find out. Is this you, Scorpio, or is this the other person? Who is it? All right. All right. So the first cards that we have here is the yes card with the manifestation and the sexuality. There is somebody who is manifesting you through fucking sex magic. Okay. And a lot of these people are doing it with another person. What the fuck? Like who manifests about getting somebody else while fucking somebody else? So apparently this person here, they have no rules at all. Okay. So yes, I do see that here for you guys. Um, there's also somebody there's also somebody here. I feel like I keep hearing like tongue tied, like somebody doesn't know exactly what they want. Okay, it's just like, yes, they want to be with you, but they, it's just like, they're still trying to figure things out. Like I said, they got plenty of stuff on their plate. Like they're trying to figure out what it is they actually want or like how they want things to go. They don't know. Like, I just feel like a ball of confusion, actually, just even looking at these cards. I just feel like somebody is just super confused and don't know what they want. Like one minute they can be manifesting a whole future in life with you in the next minute they're just like i don't want that i don't want that you know so it's just like a lot of uncertainty a lot of unsureness here they're really trying to figure out themselves and what they want okay you have the pets here and what i'm getting is just somebody has like walked this person has walked all over your fucking heart okay uh scorpio i feel like this person dog walked you okay and with this guardian angel next to it i just feel like this person is <laughs> i just feel like really like your spirit team your soul tribe like they really held you together this time because i feel like any other time you would have just crumbled you would have just broke you would have just been into pieces but they really had your back okay i feel like a lot of you guys have been manifesting your strength manifesting you know protection and a lot of healing and stuff so it didn't affect you the way it usually would with this person here okay um somebody is definitely trying to leave some kind of tracks to let you know that they're looking at you or that they're watching you. So somebody could be like liking old pictures on social media. Um, somebody could be doing little emoji cons on Facebook or some. It's just like somebody's trying to throw you off and throw little hints and stuff or start following you. It's just something somebody's doing a lot here. I do feel like somebody's trying to figure them. The person who's trying to figure themselves out, Scorpio. It's just time for you to let them go and move on. Stop caring about this person, okay? I feel like a lot of you have moved on as well. Uh, Scorpio, the person that you are thinking about that you haven't communicated with, I honestly feel like this person is trying to manifest somebody that they've been 
they miss sexually, okay? So they're trying to manifest somebody back into their life and they've already moved on, okay? This person could have just been using you for your finances and just been lying, you know, to your face, okay? This person was a manipulator as well. So it's just like, move on, you know, just let it be what it is. Take your, take your loss and go on, okay? What else we got? Yeah, we got insecure here. So this person is insecure because maybe they feel like they can't, I feel like they don't want you to see the real them, the true them. So they had to like dip off on you. Okay, yeah. They are, like I said, there's somebody that they over here manifesting. You have, I love you both here. So it's definitely somebody who, it's somebody who keeps somebody on the back burner. Like they constantly have another person because they need somebody to constantly want them or feed their ego. And it's just like, you were either the person that they kept on the, you know, kept with them because you fed the ego or it's like they have somebody else to feed the ego and they just not sure because they have feelings for this person as well. But this person is very insecure. I feel like this person is very immature as well. This person was, you're not the only person, Scorpio. Like this person was definitely having sex with you and another person at the same time and praying that you didn't fucking find out. Okay. Go get tested. All right. Some of you guys want to have a want to have a conversation with this person because you want to figure it out. You need some clarity. Okay. But I feel like this person could be kind of dodging you or whatever. It's just like, yeah, they they dodging you. It's giving me like phone on do not disturb. They got your number blocked or whatever. It's just like you can never reach them. It's like you you pull up at their house, they not at home. Or you know what I'm saying? It's just like whatever you do, it's never a good time to, to talk to them because they can't get their lives together here. All right? They, they can't get the lies. Oh, my gosh. Scorpio, just let them go. Yeah. You definitely need to cut this person off. Okay? All right, there's somebody here who's been lying to themselves and knowing that they should have been moved on. But there's just like a lot of hope here, a lot of praying and hoping that somebody will make up their mind or see things differently here. You feel like this this person is just like, they suffer from a lot of anxiety and fear. And you're thinking like, maybe it's just the, the fear of happiness that's stopping them or whatever. But really, it's just like they, they want to make sure they make the best choice. Okay, like they really want to make sure they make the best choice. That's all that's about. All right, so you have the light here. So basically, the truth is going to come out. Um, I feel like you actually gonna catch this person. I don't. Something's like you gonna catch this person with another person, or it's just like they gonna get caught in bright. Like they they gonna get caught up in they lie. Like they probably was just like oh. I had to work or something and then like a few days later you'd be like you said something or you might go up to their job to like try to surprise them with flowers and they not there or it's just like something that you gonna find out okay then you gonna realize that it's just like this person can't even be you know this person can't even be real or honest with themselves. like how i expect them to be real and honest with me okay so it's just like you finally get the enlightenment that no it wasn't me it was them Okay, because this person is just out here wilding out. Like I said, it's time for you to go ahead and get move on to the next. And it's time for you to get tested as well. Because this person is just full of bullshit. Alright, so. Yeah, this person is controlling because they really feel weak on the inside. Okay, they really feel weak on the inside. Um, and I feel like they feel threatened by you because 
of your independence and the way that you can provide and the structure that you have in your life. So I feel like this person could do a lot of gaslighting and a lot of projecting onto you. So whoever this person is that you're thinking about or who's thinking about you, it's really just time for you to cut ties with this individual and to let it go because it is what it is. All right, so that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, Scorpio.